What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. Today we have our first Murders at Carlob Manor collector booster box. This one's for one of my best homies, Jew Mill, aka Expo, aka Cardboard Real Estate. Go check him out on the YouTubes. He said, "Let's go to Pound Town. Maybe we'll get a bowl of cereal. Who knows?" But if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Like the video, leave me a comment because that's how I pick the winners. And uh, let's get started here. So this set, um, I feel like it's kind of been a quiet release. Oh, I think we just got our invisible ink. Look at that, Rakdos Patron of Chaos. And if this is in fact the invisible ink, that's a big hit. <laughs> Expo, it's not cereal, but I think that's the best mythic in a chase variant. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back out of the sleeve for just a second, guys. Um, that's gotta be invisible ink, right? It's only visible in certain. This is a card they didn't really advertise the invisible ink that well. But uh, sheesh, let's go. Nice hit for Expo. Ooh, and you're going to follow it up with the mole. Big pack. Theorist. So these are Japanese printed. So the uh, the rare slash mythic order is going to be in reverse. Triple mythic pack. Big start. And these borderless cards. I'm going to be honest with you. They slap. These lands give me a little. I know these are Ravnica. But these give me a little bit of uh, New Capenna vibes. Just saying, scene of the crime. Not on my watch. Soul. Pick your poison, Fairy Snoop. Phantom and Criminologist. So, uh, holy sheesh, guys. Expo. Did we just... Did something just happen? I don't know. Surely that's what that is. Super cool. I wonder if we can get a cereal and an invisible ink. Watch her being an invisible ink in every pack. Oh no, that's definitely an invisible ink. Judith Carnage Connoisseur. Making a comeback. Delny. Streetwise Lookout. This is a. Uh, this has been pretty loaded so far. Researcher. Relive the past. Meticulous Archive. We got this surveil land there. Wisp Drinker, Vampire, Ambusher, Blue Land, Split Cards, because it wouldn't be a Ravnica set without blue cards. And But but here's the thing, like, if you didn't tell me, like, somebody would have to tell me this was, uh, this was based on Ravnica, other than, like, some of the, some of the characters. Fugitive Code Breaker, Sharp-Eyed Rookie. Tessac, Judas, Hellhound, Axebane, Ferox. So that's a four mana, four, four with Death Touch and Haste and War to collect evidence for. Seems like a pretty solid green dude. Lamplight, Phoenix, Demand Answers. Swamp, and if I got out of frame for a second, um, still a little bit hyped from that Rakdos, Invisible Ink. You know, that's uh, it's probably one of the top cards in the set. I'm just guessing. You know, we don't know yet. This set's not this this set's not seen play. Man, and if I sound a little out of breath, I've been running around, guys. Been running like a marathon today. Underground mortuary. Trouble in Paris. Another Phoenix. This time it's extended art. Hunted Bone Brute. Auspicious arrival. I think I'm gonna start using auspicious in my daily vocabulary. I think that would be a real boss move. Rebel Belt Maverick, Thinking Cap, Alibi, and the Mass Maker. So, uh, what is that? Four packs in? Seems pretty solid. So, uh, Papa Rudy has a theory. Sharp Eyed Ricky there. Um, the serial numbered cards are only the 250 in the set. And he thinks that's because the print run is half of what the normal like when we were getting the 500 
out of five hundreds, and uh, they did that to make the pull rate similar to what it was before Ravnica Remastered. The reason so many cereals are being cracked in Ravnica Remastered, and this is not official, but uh, they're saying the print run was cut in half due to the poor pre-orders and whatnot. And the serial number cards had already been made. So they put all those serial cards in a print run that was half as big as it was supposed to be. So that's why everybody is getting the serials. So we'll see if that holds up. So if, if, if they're... Print runs in half, 250 of each card. We're probably back to one per case. Um, I'm interested to see. We're going to find out. Kylox. Ezram. Prisoner's Dilemma. Cryptic Coat. Tenth District Hero. Deduce. Makeshift. In that pile, um, it's a mess. It's intentional because people give me such a hard time about my piles. Ooh, forum familiar. He's, he's chomping on that chicken leg. Slime Against Humanity. Sounds like a uh, card game. So halfway through the box, uh, you know, feels feels nice. Doesn't feel bad. For a set that I don't feel like had a bunch of hype behind it, this is a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a quiet release, if we're being honest. Meticulous Archive. What do we think these, these lands are going to do? They are fetchable, so... Watcher of Hours... This looks like a buff Ledger Shredder. Hunted Bone Brute. Steam Core Scholar. On the job, Fanatical Strength. Mountain. Convenient Target. Presumed Dead. Savior. Exit. Tracker. And Offender at Large. Here we go, here we go. War Leader Call. That... Wow, that's a pretty card. Sheesh. Beautiful artwork and foiling on that. And another Rakdos, Patron of Chaos. Ransom Note. Leyline of the Guild Pact. Kylox Visionary. Deadly Scapegoat Island. Just, just a lot of thought went into this one. Knife. Perimeter Enforcer. Cornered Crook. Sanitation Automation, Makeshift Binding, and Galvanize. So I'm curious uh, I'm curious how this set's going to affect Standard, because Standard is uh, it's becoming a thing again, which is which is pretty cool. Pride of the Whole, Clade, 215. This card is insane. I don't know if you guys have got a chance to check this one out, but it's an 11 mana 215. It costs X less, where X is the total toughness of creatures you control. Has Defender, you can pay for. Until end of turn, target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero. Gains whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player. Draw cards equal to its toughness and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Insane card. Assemble the players. Redemption Arc. No Witnesses. Agency Chief. And Fanatical Strength. Really like this Deduce. Um, draw card, investigate, instant. I, I like the art more than anything. He's sitting there, and he's got the Tesseract in his hand, like, like he's doing some magic. Just, just a cool vibe. Cold Case Cracker and Fanatical Strength with a Novice Inspector. Three more packs, Expo. I'm going to say you're already pretty, pretty, uh, pretty set with that first. What is it with the first pack hits here lately? Outrageous Robbery. Lazav making another appearance. Nelly Borsha, Impulsive Accuser. I'm going to assume that uh, Nelly's related to Bell. Connecting the Dots. Undergrowth Recon, that is a mythic. Three man enchantment, being able to keep return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, that's, uh, that's something. Deadly Complications. Gleaming Gear Drake. Whip Cracker. Riot Red Herring, Behind the Mask, and Make your move. All right, Expo. What? Is that a second invisible ink? Shit. <laughs> Double invisible ink box. What? Shit. Are these... I feel like these should be more rare. 
Are they more rare than this? Did we just get hella lucky? What is going on? Incinerator of the guilty. So if you've seen these boxes cracked already, I don't know. Let me know if it's uncommon to get two invisible inks per box. But uh, sheesh, Expo with the double ink beef. Drag the canal, treacherous greed, dramatic accusation, island, culvert ambusher, case, escape tunnel, loxodon, slice from the shadows, and person of interest. So, is the is the invisible ink too subtle or is it cool? What do you guys think? The the jury's still out for me. All right, last pack. Let's get it. Treacherous greed. Hedge mage. Tranquil Cove. I don't know why I got so excited. I said mage instead of mage. Mage. I still can't say it. Maze. I'm just hyped up. I'm just hyped up on Mountain Dew, guys. Pardon my scatteredness. Unyielding gatekeeper. Rampage. Murder. Slice from the shadows. Forest. Hard hitting question. Hunch, Orb, Crocodile, Nightwash, Doubt, and Corner. So, guys, two of the Invisible Inks. Um, super, super cool there. I know the sleeve kind of adds a little gloss to it, but, um, yeah, cool stuff. Expo, thank you for sponsoring this box. Thank you guys for watching. Every one of you makes this possible. If it wasn't for you guys watching me do this, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you don't mind... Please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. Doing a giveaway of one of the new Play Booster boxes next Friday. So stay tuned for that. Watch all my videos. Get your comments in so you can have a chance to win. Love your faces. See you in the next one. Bye.